Taking a look at the Gen 4 Glock 19 MOS today. If you're not familiar with the MOS and what it means, it's the Modular Optic Sight or Modular Optic Sighting System. I can't remember, but basically what it allows you to do without milling your slide is to put a variation of red dot sights on top of the slide. Now, obviously, if I bought this, I either got a killer deal or I plan on trying out a dot sight. You'll have to watch my videos down the road to see which one is true. Uh, by the time this one's done though, you'll know I got a killer deal on this anyway. So uh, I think that only leaves one option, but I'm not gonna tell you what dot it is. Feel free to guess below, uh, but I've already settled on it. I know which one I'm going to get. Now I got this on Gun Broker. It said used. Uh, I, I have bought so many guns off Gun Broker that said used, especially Glocks. And when I get them in, they look brand new. This thing still has the copper grease on the inside. There's virtually nowhere whatsoever. It's got Trigicon suppressor height and eye sights already installed. The only spot I saw anywhere on is where somebody installed the sight, probably with an aluminum punch. And I most likely, yeah, some of that just came off. I haven't really tried to get it off there. Uh, so that's it. The gun overall is pretty flawless. And I was really impressed with this one. The magazines actually come out pretty nicely and some Glocks are not real good at that. Now I have been a Gen 4 or Gen 3 guy, excuse me, uh, since I've owned Glocks. It's what I've liked. They felt good in my hand, but it was time to upgrade and I wanted to test a dot. I wanted to get into the dot game and I didn't want to have my Gen 3 milled. What if I don't like it? Then I got to put a plate on it and everything else. This was just a really good way to get into the dot game. The Gen 5s, in my opinion, in my hand, felt like garbage. Uh, I have run the, the uh, Gen 3 so long that a Glock just isn't a Glock without finger grooves to me. And so the Gen 4 felt really good. I can always throw back straps on it, the beaver tail, whatever I want to do to customize it. Uh, I just haven't even shot this thing yet. You are going to see the first shots. Now, in addition to the gun, everything's stock. I've got the case right here. It comes with it. Uh, your back straps, your loader. It did come with three magazines. And I want to show you guys the followers, this, these mags haven't even been loaded. And you can tell if a gun's been loaded once. The casings will absolutely put marks in those polymer followers. Uh, these mags are virtually brand new. So I don't know what the criteria is to not be able to sell a gun as new, but this thing is new. It even has the Glock copper grease in the rails, you can see it. Uh, I don't know if it's been fired at all. I think it's been cycled by hand and that's it. The bores look clean. I say bores because there's an extra barrel that came with it. Uh, they're shiny, they look brand new. Take a look at the barrel. I don't know if it's seen live fire or not. I don't know if it's seen much dry fire. Uh, it just looks really, really nice. Now when I said it came with another barrel, it came with an AAC threaded barrel and I believe these things retail for like 220 something like that around here they're going used for anywhere from 165 to 185 depending on condition so what I plan to do is sell that I don't have a use for a threaded barrel I'm not interested in suppressed uh, suppressed fire at all so it'd just be a waste for me to hang on to this and my thoughts in the beginning was this comes up with the suppressor height sights uh, the MOS system ready to put a dot on uh, I don't need this so what I can do is take this money apply it toward what I'm gonna spend on the dot because it's not cheap as you guys know they're not but the barrels both just look great they appear to be new so I'm pumped guys I'm excited I'm gonna tell you what I spent on this gun and I, and I like to do this because I want you guys to know the kind of deals that are out there and uh, if you're patient on gun broker if you pull up a gun especially a popular firearm and it's got 22 23 24 pages the reason a lot of people miss out on great deals like this is because they don't go all the way through they don't go all the way to the back they lose patience and they say i can never find good deals on gun broker i bought dozens of guns on gun broker many in this kind of condition all told i have 505 dollars in this gun now that's including the threaded barrel all the original oem packaging and everything else three magazines suppressor height trigicon sights with plenty of glow left they're brand new uh, and i forgot to mention it's even got the vickers 
slide racker on the back. If I don't like it, I can pull it off, put a standard uh, uh, slide backer on there, but it's very similar to the VP9. It's gonna give you a surface to rack on, and uh, it might not be a bad thing. Uh, they go for like 19 bucks, so that was something that wasn't even advertised that came with the gun that I just wasn't expecting. So I'm really pleased, even though I haven't shot it yet. I like what I got for the money, and when you take $505 total, that's everything I got, and you subtract even $150. If I get that for this barrel uh, and in a condition, I think I can get $165. You know, $150 though puts me at $355 bucks for a virtually a brand new Glock Gen 4 MOS. All right, so I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm done talking. Let's shoot the thing. All right, first shots through the Glock MOS Gen 4. Again, guys, this is nothing new. I'm way behind the game as far as getting getting into the dot, but listen, I'm old. I'm not old, but I'm getting there. And uh, that's a lot of the reason I'm looking into the dot, guys. It's it's more of a proactive, preemptive uh, strike on uh, diminishing eyesight. Now, my eyesight's fine right now overall. I do have bifocals for up close, uh, but I know that my sight's not going to get better as I age. So why not go ahead and try to curtail some of that and give a dot an honest try. Now I expect this thing to shoot like any other, uh, you know, Glock. It's a Gen 4. I've shot them before. I just want to make sure it's reliable. I don't know the point of impact on these sights. I'm curious to see how it is. Uh, I got the shoot steel silhouette. I'm going to aim at the C in the upper thoracic region. All right, let's give it a go. What would a gun test be without running some hollow points through a potential carry gun? 124 grain Federal HSTs. We're gonna see how they work through the Glock 19 Gen 4 MOS. Thirty yards, bowling pin. See what happens. All right, there's a nick. Another one. Better quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> Three out of four hits from 30 yards, I'll take it. 150 rounds, including a magazine of HSTs. Everything fed beautifully. I had no problems whatsoever. Uh, I do have a couple of flyers up in the neck, a couple of low uh, rounds there. Some of those were also gonna be from the limp wrist, the one hand. I did those early on, not making excuses, but it is a new gun. And I will tell you guys, the longer I shot, the more I started to put rounds up into that B area. So uh, I was uh, first wondering if it was the Trigicon sights, the uh, suppressor height. I think it was the difference in the trigger, the difference in the grip, and just being a different gun altogether. Now these shots are still good. I mean, it would put a ballistic effect on a human if I had to use that gun to save life. But I want to keep them up there in that nice little B circle. Obviously that's where we want them, or into the A triangle there, if that's the case. So. Uh, my preliminary thoughts on the MOS, I really like it. Um, I loaded it back up with HSTs there, so it's, it's hot. I like it. I think it feels really, really good. I'm excited to get the dot on it, and I hope you guys follow along for that journey. Uh, you guys, again, guess down below what dot I'm going to put on it. Uh, I'm not promised I'm going to tell you what it is, but you can give it a guess anyway. Maybe I'll drop some hints. These rounds are gonna be up into that B zone before I'm done with this thing. I'm gonna make sure of it, eliminate some of the flyers there the more I get used to this MOS 19. Thank you all for watching. We'll catch you in the next video as we continue this journey with a red dot sight.